John Pollock here at the Tough Nations finale in Quebec City with a victorious KJ Noons only needing 30 seconds of work tonight. First man to ever knock out Sam Stout. Not an easy feat to accomplish. Uh, KJ, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling excellent. You know, um, it was a great win for me, a great knockout. You know, that's uh, that's a tough accomplishment to knock, you know, take someone with almost 30 fights that's never been knocked out. He's a tough guy. Tell us, uh, setting up the knockout, anything specifically that you honed in on with Sam that, it, you know, you could forecast that knockout? Anything you were looking for pattern-wise out of Sam? You know, I say some of his uh, films and we had some tools that we got ready to, you know, uh, use in the fight. And, uh, you know, it happened to learn, uh, land early for me and it was great. How much pressure did you put on yourself going into this particular card? Was it obviously every fight is a must win, but there, was there extra pressure on you uh, to come out and perform in the fashion you did here in enemy territory in Canada? Oh, there's always pressure. Every fight, you know, you have to perform. You know, you never know. It's uh, like they say, it's uh, hard to get here, harder to stay. Mm -hmm. You two had uh, kind of an interesting story going into this. Uh, you both decided, hey, why cut all this extra weight? Let's just fight at 170. How did this happen? No, well, actually, uh, you know, the day before weigh-ins, I was walking by him, he said, hey Sam, you know, shook his hand, met him, gentleman, and as I was walking away, I heard someone in his corner say, hey, um, you think he would do it? And I turned and I said, do what? And they're like, oh, we're just messing around, see if you want to make a catchway. I said, yeah, let's make a catchway. How much do you weigh? He goes, I weigh 165 right now. I lose like nine, 10 pounds. I go, me too. Let's just make it, why don't, why would we cut weight? And why don't we just like have all our energy to put on a great fight? Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, he's like, I, 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 been, I train, and you saw us both in there, and on yes. the wings, we looked ripped at 170. We both trained great. We weren't overweight. We weren't dying. He's like, let's just uh, agree at uh, you know 170 and have a great fight. I have a belief that this could start a bit of a trend with a lot of guys who might be in similar situations like this, who might think, let's go in healthier and likely produce a better fight rather than going through this big weight cut. Do you think that maybe some other guys might take some some tips here from Sam Stout and KJ Nunes? You guys might have uh, opened the floodgates here. You know, it's really up to UFC, but the main thing was, uh, you know, I don't think either of us was in the top ten or it wasn't for a title. So. Fair enough. But it is, it's kind of, you know, because you're, you're supposed to be working towards a title in 155, so it's not really... That's kind of the, the bad part about it. But yeah, it was great so we could put on a good fight. And Are you open to fighting at 170 in the future? Will you Would you go back and forth or primarily you are I've focused actually, on 155? I fought at 170 for a title. I know you have. And I'm saying that, you know, you made the move to 155 or would you like to fight it both ways? You know, I'm just down for whatever. I want to put on great shows. I felt really healthy. This was one of my best camps. I trained three months for it down there at Alliance. And I dieted the whole time, and I feel like you could even tell, like, in the weigh-ins, everything, like, I felt good and fit, you know, I felt in shape. So 55 or 70, it doesn't matter. It seems that, you know, Nick Diaz, he is not willing to come back for just about anything. Do you think you could be the guy that maybe could convince Nick Diaz to come back? That would be, I think, a big fight for those that saw the first one. Well, I'm at 170, I just fought. I mean, where's my rubber match? We all know what happened in the second fight. I mean, I was, eh. I know you don't want to fight uh, with Tyrone, or who's he fighting next? Yeah, he was offered Hector Lombard. Oh, uh, but that's a tough fight. Didn't I happen. Know, I know. Uh, I know. I'm on a winning streak, and he's on a losing streak. So what's up? Let's do it. Well, we got go. history. KJ. He's cool. <laughs> KJ's making the challenge there. Congratulations on the win, KJ. Appreciate I'll bring the him time. out of retirement. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time.